It takes this many hours. If you want a full explanation, watch the rest of the video. How hard is it to teabag professionally? Does this child deserve a million dollars for booting non-Oc Health and Safety approved structures? I'm going to find out by becoming a professional gamer. First, I have to pick a game. It has to be highly competitive, skill-based, and addicting enough for me to play for hours a day. I'm going to choose chess, but with guns. I'm going to be spending a long time on this, so let's get into the first game. Basically, you buy units to put on your chessboard, then they automatically fight the units of other players. The first thing I tried was cheating by doping, but their security system was impenetrable. I won the first few rounds because the Blanc sends them nightmares. Tigers with jetpacks. There is no goal. The French rule the world. It was very effective. 15 rounds later, 5 players are dead and I'm in the top 3. My main damage carry is Samira. She got whirlwinded out of the fight, then a backline assassin attacked her. Then this giant laser almost hit her. What? Do you think that's in range? If you zoom in closely, you'll actually see very clearly this game is booty. And she lived on three health, then kept dealing damage the entire fight until all my tanks were dead. She couldn't possibly survive another laser unless he just misses for no reason. So when I said this game is skill-based, it was a slight stretch. But in the end, I lost. I only came second, which actually means I won. There are eight players in each game. The top four go up in rank and the bottom four go down. First place goes higher, but what really matters is top four. Okay, I guess I should play another game. Each game starts with a shared carousel. Every player picks a unit holding an item. I always try to get the bow because it gives your units attack speed, and my dream is to turn my units into Gatling guns. Each unit has two or three traits, like Star Guardian. When multiple of them are on your board, they get a special bonus. I've chosen units that worship a cow. The Ox Force exists solely to guard and worship this cow, and they get attack speed from his grace. But I'm losing because the enemy unit is two-starred. Units are like Pokemon. Collect three of them, mush them together, and they evolve. I never saw the show, but I think that's what happened. I kept losing over and over again until I was in the bottom three. Basing a religion on a cow might not be the best idea. I thought I'd have to change to a different trait until a Viego appeared in my shop, a level four Ox Force unit. There's only a 2% chance of any level four unit in my shop. Five spots in the shop times 12 four cost units is a 0.83% chance of finding Viego there. And then I gave him perfect items and he literally slam dunked me to victory. The thing with TFT is you can't win with skill every game. Sometimes you'll get unlucky and hit none of the champions or items you wanted. Sometimes you'll get lucky and get this augment. The goal isn't to win every game, it's to make your standard deviation of wins mostly in the top four, so you slowly rise. This is my elaborate excuse for losing the next game. The game after, I got the bow I wanted, which means one thing. I'm going attack speed comp. One of the traits is duelist. The more they attack, the faster they attack, until there are eight Gatling guns on your board. And I got a trait emblem, where you can make a unit that isn't a duelist, a duelist. This is where overpowered units begin. You can make a regular unit to worship the cow, giving units more traits than God intended. So now my Kaiser has four traits active. She attacks fast, gains mana fast, jumps around the map like a mongoose on amphetamine, and still dies. But that's because she isn't three star yet. If you get your evolved unit and mush it with two other evolved units, it will become the ultimate evolution. I destroyed every enemy until there are only two of us left. Then Kaiser decided to fly away into another dimension. But we know that second place is still good. I gained 43 LP. Once you reach 100, you go up a rank. Now let me tell you the tale of a monkey. I bought him from an old man called Filbert. He told me, look after this monkey or shame will come to you and your family. But I didn't have enough room for him on my bench, so I immediately sold him. Who cares what some old guy said? Oh damn, I lost. I lost again. This is bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the monkey. I'm on 15 health. I'm about to lose. Three health, at least. I'm not lost. But wait, I did it. Somehow I've got eight duelists. I have a chance. I just have to win every battle from here. Yes! You ain't no LeBron. Only I slam dunk. I placed Zed perfectly to assassinate their healer, and I won another round, putting me in sixth place. Then I got an emblem that make them worship the cow. There are only five of us left. I just have to win this round to make it. No, it's the real LeBron. Monkey, no, I'm sorry. I'm fifth. Unless you lose more health based on how many units are left on the enemy's board, and he lost by more than me, so I'm fourth. Fuck you, monkey. No one ever loved you. Now that you know how this game is played, I can focus on trying to become a professional. I am now ranked gold one. I've risen quickly. A hundred more LP and I will be platinum, where the serious good players are. This is the first step in becoming a pro. At this point, I thought I should do some research on how to get good. Real athletes are constantly learning, so I googled some tips and tricks, but it was boring. So I clicked the flashy thumbnail. I am learning. I see the truth. I need a dragon to yell at my enemies, or a scarecrow to scream at my enemy. I started by getting a robot to imitate the sound of a scarecrow and the dragon at the same time. I also got an evolved monkey to make up for my mistreatment before. Then I got a special 
spatula. This is how you make duelist emblems. So I went eight duelist again. I do not need you, monkey. Finally, the Gatling gun comp. I still lose by one hit though. I got to max level nine. I have every duelist and hacker above my Zed, but I burst another duelist player who had an evolved Zed, so I lost. I came sick and lost LP. I'm back to gold one, zero LP. The next game, I had no idea which comp I was going. I was winning easily though, but I felt uncomfortable not knowing which trait to choose. So I made the genius decision of going all of them. I have 10 traits active and I have negative 10 health. Back to gold two, 75 LP. I'm getting wrecked. I need robotic assistance. So I downloaded a client that tells you the best augments in the game. Something I haven't explained yet. Three times each game, you get to choose an augment that gives you a bomb. I checked my three options to see which had the highest win rate and they all suck. So I went with endless pizza because I want that. I got Samira and started beating everyone. Except the laser actually hit this time, but she ate the pizza to heal and I won. Then I came second overall. The only time I've actually come first is with that 0.8% chance Viego. Am I actually bad at this game? Back to gold one, 14 LP. Then I went LeBlanc sending more nightmares. The French let loose jetpack wearing tigers and they killed God. Back to zero LP. And now I introduce to you threats. You know how every unit has traits that activate for a bonus when multiple are fielded? Well, I lied, bitches. Threats have only the threat trait, which gives you no bonus. They have no allies. They're just menaces to society that deal damage. It's the perfect team comp for someone who doesn't want to think. And finally, I got the dragon screaming at people. Two of my units are triple evolved. I have perfect items. This could be my first place. I came third, gold one, 22 LP. I now introduce you to the 10 minute loading screen because someone decided to cross play with their Nokia brick. I got eight rulers and two admin. This is the highest rated comp on the client. I am unstoppable. Sixth place, gold one, zero LP. I'm noticing a bit of a pattern. I hope this doesn't continue. Next game, I went eight duelist and I attacked so fast that the game glitched and got me third place. Gold one, 20 LP. And in the next game, something special happened. I came last, eight, gold one, zero LP. Then I came fourth, gold one, 10 LP. Then I lost, gold one, zero LP, seven LP, 22 LP, zero LP, 13 LP, zero LP. In case I didn't mention it, each game is about 40 minutes long. I went on for hours of making no progress, staying at gold one, zero LP. I think it might be very hard to become a pro gamer. Why did I try to do this? And then something in the distance, the one thing that could save me. I'll spoil it, it was the power of friendship. You can queue with another player. We aren't on the same team, still trying to kill each other, but just having another human being to talk to was better than screaming at Samira to dodge better. In the other games, I focused on dealing damage, but I still die. This time, I decided not to die by only using tanks. I don't need a backline if my frontline never dies. It was going amazingly. I won six in a row by only using tanks. Nine wins in a row. This is a perfect game. But then I swapped to cow worship, so I lost. Or did I? Come on, this is close. Slam dunk, he died. Come on, cow, they are all worshiping. Shipping you. <laughs> And after 10 wins in a row, I finally lost, but I was already too far ahead. It may be weird because I said I was playing with a friend and you haven't heard them speak. That's because I accidentally recorded the Discord call at negative 30 decibels. She's talking, you just can't hear it. I swear my friends haven't all stopped talking to me because I play this game 10 hours a day. In the end, the cow won me first place, which means the only two games I won is with cow worship. I will now be accepting the name Drakow. This left me on 73 LP. You know what this means? A first or second place will do it. It will get me over 100 LP into platinum rank. I put on my music and now I was going to build this game up as an epic battle. But I don't want to disappoint you because it ended quickly. I lost at fifth place, losing LP. Then I went back to my win-lose, win-lose pattern until I had a match with eight duelists fighting eight other duelists. Both sides were Gatling guns. I got annihilated but still came second, putting me at 91 LP. Do you know what this means? Fourth place gives you at least 10 LP. Anything top four will get me plat, but I'm scared. It's too much for me. I'm gonna play some unranked matches to calm down. We played the teamed mode so we can actually work together as friends instead of murdering each other's count. We had overpowered teams and got first place. With renewed confidence, I set forth, hopefully, my final ranked game before hitting platinum. I didn't like any of the augments offered, and you get one reroll per game, so I used it. And got offered the best augment in the game according to the client. I don't have to worry about economy anymore. I get a fixed paycheck and my only job is to spend it. I got two evolved duelists. My path is clear. My mission to go fast. I even got the cow, but then I sold it because I wanted more speed. I got eight duelists, but someone had stolen my plan and Evolve Zed shredded through mine. I lost again, and this is my final chance. Exactly zero health. If I had one more. No. Oh, that was rough.
Dude, if I, if I literally got fourth, then that would have been done. <laughs> I do not give up. The next game, I threatened their lives and got second. Don't question my methods. 93 LP. Fourth place is all I need. I feel great. I can win. I can do this. Though some people thought I was a bit too involved with this game. In a 24 hour period, you played 18 games of TV. This is 19. Look, I'm gonna stop. I just what happens between every single upload. They do not understand me. The game was up and down. I won some battles and lost others. By the time I had my strongest team, I was in fifth place. I just had to win a few more and outlast the others into fourth place. I used a Yeti to roll a giant snowball over the faces of my enemies. It's super effective. 38 health left, I won. I killed the dragon, I won again. But then the snowball wasn't big enough. 28 health, I lost again. 18 health, I just need fourth place. <gasps> one, one, one. Okay. I have one health left. All I have to do is finish higher than this guy. Fourth place and I'm done. Yes! <laughs> I got an evolved snowball machine. This is it. Please bless me, Halgron. The guy in fourth place lost. I'm in fourth, but I'm also going to lose. I just have to have higher health than him. Or equal health because I lasted longer. I just need negative 12 health. Come on. Are you one? <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess I know who's queuing up for the <laughs> I don't wanna, I wanna go to sleep. I took a break and played a normal game with friends. There was no harsh competition, just a fun time. And it's at this moment I have a choice to make. I can accept that I'm not a pro gamer and move on with my life. Or I can double down, not stop until I finish what I start. And with the luck based theme of this game, I'm going to flip a coin to decide. If heads, I am free. If tails, I march onward. This is it. I can win. I can't give up. Off to a bad start. You fools! The lower health I am, the stronger I become! I am invincible! Ugh. Eighth place, damn it! Chant for the cow god! Moo, moo, ah! Moo, moo, ah! I got hustler. This is it. I win. I can win! All my training led to this. It's coming third. I am beginning my ascent. Multi snack, only one of us can be perfect. <laughs> it's the final battle, only the two of us left. I may lose, but with second place, I'm one win away from play. Which means this is the one. If I get first place, I get plat. I have a plan. My organ gives me a free shot refresh every round, making it easy to three evolve units. I'm gonna use the cat to win. But there's a problem. While I was in the lobby about to start the game, another one of my friends joined as I started the map. A friend who's never played this game. I should be against all plat four players blocking my entry into platinum, but with a new player in the game, the average rank is lowered and I'm versing silver two players, six ranks below me. Someone lost to the starting minions. I had a win streak, a real big win streak. I was at 100 health and couldn't lose. Do I really want to get into plat like this? So I did what any noble man would do. I surrendered to avoid winning an unhonorable battle. At least I considered doing that. Then I remember this was my 23rd game in 24 hours. I was so desperate at this point I pummeled the new player without mercy. I won the game and got promoted. Platinum 4 baby, I win. But I didn't feel like I deserved it. So I played another 5 games in a row, won them all and got to plat 3. Now I feel like I deserve it. Now I can finally answer the thousand year old question. How hard is it to become a pro gamer? Well it took me 37 games to go from gold 3 to plat 3. If we assume that plat 3 to diamond 3 is twice as difficult, it would take me 2331 games to get to the top of challenger, which is 1554 hours of gaming, which is a lot less than the 10,000 hour rule for most other expert things, so therefore it's pretty easy.